This object was slaughtered by Sketch and Car. So let's see if we can fix it. Let's position the cursor here, press F8, and choose faces near the cursor and corner here. Okay, so that's done. Uh, one problem we have here is I'd like to use the bridge, but the material is actually shared across in different parts. And I can only bridge two regions facing each other at once. So for that, Instead, let's use user selection. Again, with the object selected, switch to edit mode. I'll start with this section. I'll select these two faces, and let's not forget this little piece here. And these remaining faces across from each other. Press F8, and uh, this time choose user selection, since we did the selection manually, and press heal, and choose bridge. And that's done. So let's do the same thing on this side. Choose these faces facing each other. Press F8. With the user selection selected, press Heal again, since the bridge is already selected, so that part is also fixed. And the last bit. Now this looks nastier than it actually is. So let's select all these faces and press F8 again. Click here, and we're almost done. Just remaining these faces. Now there's no material applied here anymore. No problem, let's select all these faces. Press F8, this time, since the corners are missing, or at least one corner is missing, select corner here, and done. Back to the original object. Since all the damaged areas on this tombstone has a unique material assigned to them, all we have to do is position the 3D cursor on one of the areas that we would like to fix. Activate the add-on by pressing F8 and choose Faces Near Cursor option. Click the Heal button and, if you don't want all the areas that share the same material healed all at once, select the Connected option. So only the patch near the cursor will be restored. Let's continue with a different part. First, select the object, position the 3D cursor on the area to be repaired, press F8 to activate the add-on, choose Heal, and make sure the connected option is still selected. Repeat this process with as many different parts as you need. If the part you'd like to heal is a quarter, then select Corner Heal instead. If at first you get weird results, try a different plan type. Material selection, of course, is just a convenience provided by Sketch and Curve or similar programs that actually assign unique materials to worked areas. You can just as easily do the face selection manually yourself in the edit mode. The text on the gravestone is actually buoyant and the modifiers are applied, but MeshHeal can restore that section just the same. The connected button comes handy in cases like this where I can easily isolate one letter from the others, or one damaged patch from the rest. Here, for example, I'm erasing the damaged areas selectively. I'm placing the cursor where I'd like to erase, and using the connected button, I'm healing the damaged areas one at a time. Let's say with our well model, I'd like to remove some of the cracks on the tiles. Now, because the cracks are not defined with unique materials, and I'm too lazy to do the selection manually, I will use sharpness instead of material. In order to improve the automatic selection, click on the cavity edge button and place the cursor on the sharpest corner. That way the add-on will start by selecting the two faces on both sides of the edge. If need be, you can also improve the selection by adjusting the tolerance angle. If you're not sure which method to use, just try one. If it doesn't work, try the other. These little cracks, for example, are easily healed by using the heal method, whereas an area like this might require corner heal instead.
Something doesn't have to be broken to be fixed. For example, these faces here. Under the Heal button, you will find three options. For example, to restore the missing section of this column, you can use the Bridge option. The third option is Fold. It's best suited for a cut like this on a curved surface. To start, position the cursor on the sharpest corner and select Fold. Fold will leave some edges on the surface, but they can easily be dissolved. You can also have some fun healing bits that doesn't really need healing. After experimenting with this feature a bit, you will get a sense of what to expect. So if it ain't broke, fix it anyway. And that's all for now. Enjoy! If you'd like to hear about the new versions of the add-on and find out about new free Blender tools in the future, make sure to subscribe. Download links are below at the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.